Hey guys, hope you all are doing great and uh, welcome to ETLQA Labs. We are going through AMA series, Ask Me Anything and this is third video in the series and second part of this particular question and answer. So in the previous part, part one, we have already looked at first four questions here. All these four questions we have already covered in this video. So please go and watch that video and you will get all the answers for this particular four questions. Now today we will be looking at the questions which are underlined inside this box, right? And then in the next video we will be looking at remaining three questions from this particular uh, question and answer comment, right? Uh, so uh, let's uh, look at what are the content for today and what basically we want how how basically we want to approach all of these questions when especially when you are sitting in front of interviewer right and interview setup how you are actually going to approach all these questions right so imagine you are actually sitting and these are the exactly three questions which has been asked from you in the interview how you will respond right so let's look at the question first question how to validate billions of record in etl testing i'm sure this is very very popular question and and you will often encounter this question right or many people have got it and there is a reason why interviewer wants because this is very very open ended question right this is not a closed ended question right and this will give you also chance or this will also give you opportunity to present your knowledge in front of interviewer right and this this is the way right so they want you to open up and answer the question in much detailed way uh, so that will also showcase your ability to kind of uh, demonstrate and ability to showcase your knowledge, right? So that is the reason this question is asked very popularly by interviewers, right? Second question, what are the type of testing you have done apart from duplicate checks, uh, null validation and count testing, right? So this is basically asking that these are some tests that we know that you are doing. But what are the other testing that you do basically? They wanted to che check from you that what are the different type of testing that you have done in your project, right? So if you have done, then you will be able to answer other type of testing other than this test, right? So this is the purpose. Third question, explain the key challenges that you faced while performing ETL testing. This is more of a basically getting your understanding like how do you answer like how do you approach which one you feel that is it a challenge and what is not challenge for example if you say that okay uh, you know um, testing the transformation is a challenge for me right if you say like that the interviewer immediately come to know that okay you probably do not have enough expertise into it right because this is not a challenge this is your day-to-day -day job right you should be able to perform that challenge is something that you know you feel little discomfort right and you have to really put in some extra effort to actually overcome it or basically uh, do that particular job, right? So that is what comes under challenge. Normal routine of your writing test cases, executing test cases, these are not at all challenges, guys. So you should align your answer in that way that you never talk about your, uh, your duty or your job, what you are supposed to do as a challenge, okay? So challenge can be only those things which you feel that that need extra effort from your extra learning from your side are which the things which are not in your hand probably some other people have to do it for you right those are coming under challenges right now we quickly understood all these questions right let's try to basically look at what the possible answer for each of them right so let's go so first question how to validate billions of record in etl testing right so practically uh, what they want to understand is basically there is no shortcut or there is no one liner answer that you can say okay we have to validate like this right so practically we need a combination of testing approach to validate this huge amount of data right so first thing is let's say first first and very foremost thing what we will do is to start with basically testing we will start sampling right second one is the full-fledged automation Third thing is the checksum. We will look at all of these three techniques, right? How do we basically uh, approach to validate this billions of record using these three techniques, right? So let's go one by one. So sampling, basically sampling techniques, instead of validating all the records, because you can't really validate 
billions of records, isn't it? One by one. So what we do, we basically take the sample out of it. And there are various techniques of sampling that we use. For example, stratified random sampling or boundary value, right? So these are the some of the test uh, techniques, sampling techniques, which will give you a sample of record, right? Let's say one billion record out of that, let's say you get thousand records, right? That is basically my sample. Now I will test and it is easier for me to basically test those thousand uh, records, right? So this is the various sampling techniques you can use any one of them as per your convenience and as per your project basically, okay? First thing. And this will definitely give you a kind of, it's not like that you are actually taking first thousand records. It's basically sample, like it will be basically combination of all those one billion records maybe uh, from multiple places and it will pick up the data right so this is the best uh, uh, based on sampling so this is the testing that we do start with basically second is the full-fledged automation testing tool right so there are a lot of tool in the market that you can do for example we have the informatica data validation query search tool that you can use it for your automating basically the testing process and this is these tools are basically sufficient enough to handle large amount of data basically okay so you can use the automation testing tool this is the second approach and also within that automation testing tool you can also develop your own test cases or test shoot test automation framework right if you are good in programming you can basically go and create your own test automation framework basically right using any language right a scripting language you can use that so these are the two way how we can actually uh, do the automation testing right testing tool development and the third thing is basically check some validation this is very very interesting right and this basically does not go on the granularity right this basically checks on a very very high level so what basically we do let's say you have thousand records first of all right so for the thousand records and certain rows and column that particular chunk of data we actually assign a checksum right so checksum is basically a some string let's say a b c d something like that right so we assign a checksum and we send this packet of data okay from source to target now the moment it reaches to target i will go in the target and i will check whether it is still a b c d the same checksum and if it's both the checksum are matching then i know okay everything basically from source to target has moved successfully right and that is basically basically talks about the checksum validation right because you have large amount of data and the checksum is the best way to do the validation as well so this is the third technique that people use it and majority of the time i think many tools basically that i'm talking about right informatica data validation query search and all they basically help you to do this checksum validation all right so this is the third approach how you can actually validate with the billions of record obviously other testing you have to do like when you pick up the sample records you have to go for various different kind of test cases that we do manually all those things you can do basically so there as i said right there are various uh, things that you have to do there is no straightforward answer how do you validate billions of record and interviewer also expect you to talk in the similar line okay all right let's look at the second question guys what are the testing you have done apart from duplicate null and count check right so if you look at it these are basically duplicate null and all those kind of tests right they are basically data quality checks right these are only data quality checks right uh, because this has nothing to do with your transformation checks right the main logic our main etl is basically uh, based on the transformation logic right and we are actually not talking about anything here so you can say that these are good okay data quality checks we have to perform uh, to ensure that the data that is coming from the source are basically a good data right so these are the checks that we do as part of data quality as part of data transformation i have to validate whether all the transformation whether it is filter transformation router aggregator or maybe expression a lot of transformations are there right all those transformations are used to basically transform the data into desired format right all those text checks we need to perform and this is a very very significant amount of test cases and very 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 big amount of chunk of test uh, and time that we afford in the transformation validation basically okay so this is the one thing that you can then you can give some examples like this right data conversion from one to another type filtering unnecessarily data or maybe aggregating based on certain dimensions for example sales from daily to monthly level and all those things you can basically talk about this right so this is the 
part of your transformation validation. This is the first, uh, like other than that, this is the first set of tests. I will not say there are a lot of tests within this actually, but okay, this is the uh, kind of a test scenario, I would say, right? Now, second one is basically uh, database or metadata testing. What basically we do, we obviously have to talk about the uh, database uh, schema structure data type data size of the columns constraint and everything as per mapping document this is must have check right otherwise uh, if you do not take care of these basic things there uh, there is very big flaw in your entire testing because this should be the first test that you should be doing doing right now cdc change data capture guys what is this change data capture this is basically testing whether my loading system is happening properly or not right Let's say we are actually picking up, there are two kinds of load that we do in ETL, right? One is the initial load and then incremental load. First time when we are loading the data, everything should be completely loaded in my target, right? Second time when I'm loading, loading the data, it should be basically following this change data, change data capture. If it is first time loading, then insert should happen. If it is update, like the record is already present, but there is one element or one basically column or value is changed field is changed then we have to go for the update right and then delete basically if there is any record which is coming with the delete flag if from my target also that particular record should be deleted so this is basically some checks that we have to do as part of incremental testing right so this uh, all the things are basically coming under change data capture testing right so these are the some testing not only limited to this there are lot many testing right performance testing integration testing and all those things but here they are actually they want to basically talk in brief like what other things that you do you know uh, other than this testing right right now let's look at the third question what are the key challenges you have faced during etl testing right now as i said right you should never ever talk about that i faced problem while testing it i faced problem understanding the mapping logic or i faced a problem while uh, while kind of preparing some test data right for from my side right some negative positive scenario you should never talk about it this will show you that you are not mature enough or you are not having a good experience uh, in it in testing right so because when you talk about all this kind of things right it looks like you are you just started your etl career right career so that is the reason we should talk something very mature and what is that very mature basically you talk about the volume of the data right you say okay First thing, the first challenge that we face is basically the large volume of data, right? So basically, uh, ET ETL test, right? ETL process deals with large amount of data, right? That comes from various source systems. And many times it is very complex to basically manage this large amount of data, right? And perform the testing. As I said, right? How do you perform the testing of large amount of data? Just before this question, we have looked at it, right? Like various techniques that we do, to test the various uh, millions of records and all. This is very similar to that basically, right? So first challenge is that. Second challenge is test data availability, right? Now, uh, when, especially when you are actually doing uh, the performance related testing, because that performance is also a very key important thing, right? Preparing the data, our similar data, or the amount of data, right? Or even the quality of the data, because production will be having its own quality of data, right? So how do you actually ensure that we have the right amount of data, right quality of data? This is very, very challenging environment uh, situation for us as a QA, right? And many times you are not actually supposed to access the production data. Nobody will give you production data. And your testing may not have the same uh, um, uh, same uh, nature of data, uh, behavior of the data that you expect in the production. And that might lead to the failure when you actually promote your ETL job into production environment right so this is the second challenge basically you can say okay third thing is the performance testing as i said right so performance is very important and then to do this performance testing what we need we need the test data which is obviously a problem here because nobody will give you the production like data right in some of the projects you will get it mock the data they will the dba will mock the data we will basically um, you know hide the important information right and then we'll give you data but again right uh, that is again uh, not the correct data right even if you get the data okay forget about that now in terms of the environment like etl infrastructure for example hardware linux machine your server and everything 
all of them will be having less capacity server because you are actually testing in the test environment but in production those hardwares which will, will be of much more size and much more of capacity right and that is always challenge right because testing something from the performance angle in your testing environment which will not give a very good picture how the job will perform into real production environment right so this is the performance testing challenge basically right fourth is integration testing right this is a big test big challenge again right because let's say you actually are able to test entire etl process but how about integration when you do this testing now the downstream will be pulling up your data like from the data warehouse they will be pulling up data to generate the report right and now you have very very less control over what basically they test right you can actually obviously facilitate that okay we are actually promoting this job and we are loading the data can you check whether you are able to consume the data or not from the downstream for example reporting system reporting layers and all but obviously you do not have the enough control what they do testing and you cannot tell them you have to test this and that right that is also one of the challenge right so you have to basically depend on other people to test this right so that's why i said challenges could be the one which are not in your hand second one which needs some upskilling from yourself or some uh, extra effort to perform all those things basically right so those are basically coming in the challenge all right so these are the few uh, things that i wanted to discuss okay uh, the three questions okay and i hope that this really makes sense to you okay and uh, guys if you are visiting first time on this particular channel uh, uh, do kind of subscribe share and also hit the bell notification so you get all this amazing videos that we do all right and now this is a uh, kind of part two and the next part we will be taking up these three questions so stay tuned and also don't forget to send your questions if you want me to make a video or answer your questions please go and the comment and put your comments basically there what exactly you have the question i will definitely be able to take up your question and do a video for you all right so yes uh, thanks again um, for uh, watching this video and uh, i hope that uh, this was fruitful and added some knowledge to your uh, skills right uh, yeah so see you soon with the next video until then happy learning god bless you bye